Hi everyone, Grant for the Flame Learning Channel. In part 6 of the animation series, you covered the various ways of copying and pasting animation. There were a variety of useful techniques and I encourage you to review them if you don't know or need a refresher. In part 7, you'll look at the various uses of the Insert Key function. This very handy but underused tool that enables you to insert keyframes into an animation curve as well as insert extra timing into a curve when needed. This will hopefully become a lot clearer as you progress through the video. If you'd like to follow along, just create a simple animation from frame 1 to frame 75 and set the interpolation to linear. This will avoid having to deal with any tangent issues during the exercise. Ensure you select your animated channel in the animation editor. So during this 100 frame composite, you have animation for most of the composite and nothing for the last 25 frames. Now when inserting a keyframe, you rely on the positioner and where it sits on the animation curve. For example, move the positioner to frame 25. So the positioner is between two keyframes. When you click the Insert Key button, a keyframe is inserted on the curve under the positioner. This behaviour is the same as pressing Set Key. So if you needed to add a keyframe at a very specific frame, you have two methods. However, when you start inserting keyframes over other keyframes, this changes the behaviour. So the positioner is now over a keyframe and it could be any frame on the curve. Now just before you insert a keyframe, I just want to draw your attention to this slider next to the Insert Key button. This is a duration field and it is measuring the duration from the current keyframe to the next. So between these two keyframes, it is a duration of 50 frames. And between these two keyframes, it's 24 frames in length. The reason for pointing this out is that this duration value has a direct impact on how keyframes are inserted into the curve. So ensuring the positioner is on top of the keyframe and press Insert Key. A new keyframe is inserted after the current keyframe with the same value. And the rest of the keyframes towards the end of the curve are rippled further down in time. This is super handy if you have continuous animation and you would like to hold something for a period of time or insert animation into an existing curve. If you scrub the time bar, you can see what I'm referring to. Now the number of frames between the original keyframe and the inserted keyframe are based on the duration field. The original measurement was 50 frames and when you inserted the keyframe, it shifted this part of the curve by 50 frames. If you wanted to change the length of the frames between these two keyframes, just adjust the duration. You will see the curve ripple to accommodate the new timing between these two keyframes. Set the amount to 25 frames. As a tip, the duration slider does not rely on inserting keyframes. For example, you could place the positioner on any keyframe and it will detect the timing between the current keyframe and the next one. By adjusting the duration, you can affect the timing between keyframes and ripple the later part of your animation. So if you needed to space out animation timings between keyframes, this can be quite useful. Now inserting keyframes will give you the same rippling behaviour on every keyframe except for the last one at the end of the animation curve. This is the third and final behaviour. Go to the last keyframe and you'll see that it initially picked up the duration from this keyframe to the previous one. You can stick with this or change the value. When you click Insert Key, a new keyframe is inserted after the current one using the duration value. Since this was at the end of your animation curve, no rippling takes place and that's the difference. In the next video, we'll go through extrapolation 
which allows you to control the animation curve beyond the keyframes. This is great for cycling animations and much more. You'll also learn how to bake an extrapolation into keyframes, making quick work of building different types of animation. Comments, feedback and suggestions are always welcome and appreciated. Please subscribe to the Flame Learning channel and click the bell to be notified for future videos. Thanks for watching and hope to see you soon.